a gift of life for a child who could not get critically needed surgery in war-torn Ukraine. Today, she thanked the team that made it possible. As CBS 2's Carolyn Gussoff reports, her heart was repaired by doctors on Long Island. A smile that transcends the language barrier. <laughs> Polina Shepanyak of Ukraine is only nine years old and can finally return to kid stuff. I am very uh, good. Five days, I am very fast running and I like it. For as long as she can remember, life has been limited due to a dangerous heart defect. A hole between the two upper chambers of her heart caused constant shortness of breath and fatigue. Life altering surgery became impossible when war broke out. She was actually scheduled for surgery in March in Ukraine, but because of the bombings and the air raids, they can't risk it because power would shut down and you would lose the patient. It's a progressive type of lesion, so initially they're tired, this don't grow well. As they approach the adult years, the arrhythmias and the heart failure begins. I said, Polina, don't run, stop. Polina, sit, please. And, and she, uh, she said, why? I want to be like uh, all uh, kids. Thanks to Gift of Life, which began at St. Francis Hospital to promote world peace, she can have a long, healthy life ahead. Every day, you make miracles for children and for her, their parents. The nonprofit brought Polina and her mom from Ukraine. Beautiful picture. And on Wednesday, doctors plugged the hole in her heart in a non-invasive procedure, the first gift of life patient at St. Francis in three years due to the pandemic. The surgery is for me so cool. For a short time, they escaped war for a very personal battle, an assist that's extra emotional for a doctor who saved hundreds of children. Dr. Levchuk is of Ukrainian descent. Pretty special. You know, pretty special. After follow up visits here at St. Francis, Polina will return to Ukraine with a plug in her heart and gratitude to last a lifetime. In Roslyn, Long Island, Carolyn Gussoff, CBS 2 News.